morning folks day two at the lodge beautiful beautiful day out here here look at that sun out there oh so beautiful lots to do today we got to check our staff water i think our pressure switch is kind of catching up and not working our greatest i have no water this morning so we'll have to see what's going on there we gotta fill some propane, we gotta fill some fuel, we gotta possibly do some motors. So yeah, we got lots to do today. Oh shoot, we're gonna hook up water in the main lodge building. We have to hook up water to the not laundry house yet. Main lodge building. Oh and Harold Nan's place. So, we got that to do. Lots to do. We have the Cabillo sign that we got reskinned for the end of the driveway. That's got to go up. That's right there, sitting in the back of the truck. So, that's got to go get hung up. But, yeah, such a beautiful day. Look at that. Just so gorgeous. Anyway, we'll get out of here. Got to go find Eric and get some breakfast on the go. And start everything we got to do. There you go. It's half water. I had a problem with this contact. I had to push. Yeah, see that pin's pulled back in. So... We definitely need to get there's that pin on that side a little metal there I pushed it back but it's not staying out so probably have to replace that whole switch kind of a pain but see what see what happens we're pressured up again we got water again so but this is just gonna be a problem so we'll get that switched out get a new pressure switch ordered and on to the next job All right, Eric and I got to put this sign up. Got the new skin on it, so see what it looks like when we get her put up. This is a nut. Oh, well, we can get it off enough to just do it lightly. All right, here's the sign. Looks pretty good. Hey, 
Eric's just gotta go get some wrenches. We forgot to grab just to tighten up a couple nuts there and good to go. On to the next job. All right, just, I've already started feeling propane, but I'm gonna get back at it. Eric's up filling fuel. Um, probably not mixed gas, but just some regular gas. Cause we got our fuel delivery coming in. So we're trying to get a bunch of stuff filled up before our fuel all arrives Monday. So we're just filling some propane here. Time to get things done. Stack them in there. I had a bunch of tanks to pull out. Weigh them up and get them ready. All right, back after. Let's check on this ice machine. Ooh, we did a little bit of frost. That's good. It's good to see. Hard to tell. We just finished a little bit of lunch. Eric and I are gonna tackle, Eric's gonna tackle, I guess we're both gonna tackle some water. Probably get Harold and Ann's place all hooked up. We gotta play, replace the valve. The supply valve's leaking, so we gotta change that out. Probably get some water running over there and then debate whether we're gonna get the water running to the main kitchen that's the whole other system we got to hook up so whether we do that today or tomorrow or someday but anyway we'll get some parts here and just head to the shop all right we got our box of goodies here go down here and see what we can do with the water hook up this other line to Harold Nans and then we can tackle some of it all right we got that one replaced we got the water on let's go chase the line and should have water supplied up to the house here so issues I got water coming out there broken drain pipe this broken which is fine I can fix that after water 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 we're going check inside obviously water running in there We got water done up at Harold Nance place. All the water connected down to the boathouse is all done. We have the ice house hooked up, heaters on, block machines freezing. Metal tank here is just filling up. Some water in there. Now we get some minners. Holy jeepers. Oh. 
not quite sure. Trim off of something. Yeah, there's a lot of water. A lot of water under there. <laughs> That'd be all right. That'd be all right. Oh, stupid! I didn't bring. I didn't bring the tools. Yes, better bring your camera. Better bring the camera. Come with us, guys. See, there's satellite. I'll explore that. Satellite internet for all the folks that Don't need that good old Wi Fi. Okay, we're just tightening up. Another hose clamp. Another hose clamp. So they're always breaking and they're cheap. Yeah, anybody wants to sponsor hose clamps. Or pumps. Or pumps or tools or any sponsors. We got lots of, what is it, Makita or Milwaukee? Makita. Makita. He's a craftsman wrench. Yeah. A driver. We got lots of Makita drills and batteries and stuff. We use those all the time. We got some Milwaukee stuff. Personally, I'm a DeWalt man, but you know. I like Milwaukee. And Eric likes Milwaukee. But we have Makita stuff. Yeah. So, you know. Because that's what. Yeah. We'll name bomb some stuff just in case. Sponsors, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, Leakin, you need a fourth host clamp? <laughs> Oh my. I think we better take all that off and start over. Because we're having issues. Eric's rule of thumb isn't working on that one. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody gets that, it's kind of funny. Leave a comment down in the comment section there. Like, subscribe. Okay, we got that all done. No more leaks. I took videos of the bugs. Oh. <laughs> Don't be sad. <laughs> can't put that on there. People think the beetle's got bugs. <laughs> Not to be confused with the bad bugs. We got good bugs here. Okay. Now what? I gotta set up my time card. Time, oh, for your First hours? Time. There you go. Okay, you gotta hook up some filterages. I'm going to set you guys. Let's go see if I can. There. Set that like that. filter and the big blue is here. That'll filter all the junk out of the water. Now we run it through the UV. Oh then we'll find out how many leaks and broken pipes. Yeah, all that good 
good stuff. Everything in that building. Let's hopefully not it. Especially with all the water under there right now. <laughs> hopefully everything just goes perfect. Just go perfect. I'm going to need some new paperwork. Heater here that'll not be any good. Oh, good so we can, if you are a water heater guy and want us to try the next best water heater, this one's GSW brand. Big blue water filters. Yep. Those are the best. So we're doing five micron and then a one micron at the end. Yep. Yep. -er. I'm gonna put them in right. That's a one, one micron. A one micron. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we did that one year. No, I did that one year. So, not me. <laughs> I put our one mic on at the beginning. I wonder why we didn't get any water pressure. <laughs> we oh, have, how many jugs of bleach you want? Um, probably four. That's, they're all going to be kind of halves right now up there. Oh, yeah. That's one. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Turn that off. Let's see how oh, there. Use them all the half a crank. Usually by hand here. Pretty tight when you do it by hand. Yeah. Hopefully all my gaskets are good. Turn this water on. So we got the water coming up through the big blue filters. Goes around, it'll come over here to the UV system. I gotta still plug all this in. I'm gonna do that right now. All the way up there, that's our controller. And then we got a bleach drip that'll actually kill any last bacteria that's in there after the UV. And we'll pump it into the lodge. So. much pressure yet we got hot water tanks are probably both filling so those hot water tanks fill up. Actually let's turn that hot water on and then we can oh, 
Shut those off, shut those off. Oh, so you turn so. Just gotta wait for the hot water tanks to fill up and all the toilets to fill up. Okay. Once we get some hot water there, we'll uh, get all the air out of the lines. Anyway, back with you after.